A 13 second video making the rounds on social media while it's led to a candid conversation and a change in policy. The video shows a BPD officer restraining a teen with his knee on his neck, which was a similar move used on George Floyd. While 12 News reporter Tyler Segerman sat down with the chief tonight. Yeah, Daisy, well, there's no question police officers and law enforcement are now in the limelight uh, following the death of George Floyd. Now that there's there's this video here locally that's recently surfaced. Now, I did speak with Beaumont Police Chief Jim Singletary about, and he's very upset about what's being said about his officers on social media. Take a listen. It makes me sick that these officers who, who are doing a tough job, a good job, and, uh, and doing a tough time, and they're, and, and, they're, and they're having to endure this kind of crud. It, it, it makes me ill. Uh, our officers are going through too much uh, uh, stuff as it is right now without having to put up with their threats on the, uh, by these clowns with social media. Beaumont Police Chief Jim Singletary sat down for an exclusive interview with 12 News where he broke down what led to this controversial arrest. Now, in February, officers were called to Park Del Mall after reports of teenagers fighting in the parking lot. Now, the teen you see in the video was accused of interfering with an arrest. Singletary says the officer applied his knee to the teen's back to get him handcuffed but did not apply full force. After requests to reevaluate arresting techniques, he says the department's plans to make some the department plans rather to make some changes. At the request of the, the NAACP, the 100 black men and other citizens, we, we, we looked at it and we're, gonna, we're not going to uh, teach or condone uh, uh, any technique that uh, makes the neck or the head of uh, uh, the initial point of contact during uh, any type of arrest or use of force. The chief tells me that once the teen was put into the police unit, he later apologized and was let go with no charges. Now, Chief Singletary wants to encourage people not to rest to judgment without the full scope of the incident. Live in Beaumont, Tyler Segerman, 12 News.